Blender face rig me thing tutorial finally. Um, yeah, a lot of people asked me for this, and yeah, I'm just gonna do it right now before my laptop gets like shipped off to the repair station. Yeah, disclaimer: this this is not a Blender tutorial. Please, if you don't know the basics of Blender, go watch a tutorial for that and then come back. I'm not gonna explain to you what pose mode and object mode and all those other things are. And another disclaimer, please go download the newest version right now. I put out an update, like like the second the video came out, I, I, I put out an update to like fix a lot of the errors. So yeah, go download it right now. Eye controls. Uh, to move the eye controls, you basically just go into pose mode, like so you select the eye bone and then you go to pose mode. There are those two circle looking bones, like Okay, one is a circle and one is a cube, each having like an R and an L in them. Yeah, when you move these, they change eye shapes for the eye. Like, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. To move the pupils, you basically move to this bone that looks like an 8. And the little bones in the, in the side of those are for the individual pupils. You can also scale them, and if you scale them, make sure you have like individual origin set as your transform point or else it'll just um move into the middle and it looks weird and it's, it's stupid yeah to move the entire eye by it's like the entire eye like you click the eye bone and then you yeah you change transform and you can stretch it and squeeze it with like you either like press s plus c to like scale it up the z axis or s plus x to scale it up the y the x axis for the mouth, it's basically the same principle. You you move the mouth in like on the PNG grid to get the shapes that you want, the images, and then you move the mouth transform bone for like all the transforms you want to do. If you want to make it big, small, rotated, whatever. Eyebrows, same thing. For the eyebrows, there's also an option to edit them individually with like the arrow-looking bones if you want to like make them like make them upset you can ro rotate those to make them sad and right here I recorded myself like animating them uh, this is just a test animation like it's not supposed to look good or like comprehensible it's just moving how I animate is I activate auto keyframe and I just yeah, I just move like the the, the the bone to like get each shape for like, for example, lip syncing, and yeah, I do the same thing for the eyes and the eyebrows if they're, yeah. Now the important part, to get the actual face on like, the head of the me or just anything, I'm using a uh, a cube like a subdivided cube right now as an example. Um, you select the face plane and then you shrink wrap it on the head. And you make sure it's on project mode, like the shrink wrapping mode is on project. Or, and then you hide it after that. And if it looks weird, like for example this eyebrow here has a weird transform issue. You uh, auxiliary, auxiliary target. You set that to the head object. And that usually like fixes some of the weird transformation issues. If it doesn't... Like, if, if there's like still some issues, like scaling the face plane down usually fix them. And yeah, that's... Oh yeah, right, um... Yeah, you can change the eye color and like the eyebrow color too by going to the shader editor and... For the eyes, for the pupils, you edit the RGB color node to like get the pupil color you want. And for the eyebrows, you just ed edit the mix color node. Um, to get the the face to move with the with the head, like pretend I have a full rig right now. I'm just gonna like add a single bone for the head, but pretend it's like a full rig and it's like a fully rig model. Yeah, first thing you want to do is to parent the face plane to the bone, and you make sure it's all weight painted like to the bone group. Like for example, right now. I only have one bone, so I just weight paint the full thing for this one bone. Then you want to click on like each individual rig, and for the main transform points, you add a child of bone constraint. Uh, 
and then make the target like your rig and then it's the target bone being your head bone for example if you're using regify to rig your characters it's like spine 006 but like if you named it something else it'll be that like it has to be the head bone or else it'll look weird yeah you just parent the main transform bones and make sure you you set inverse you click that that's very important if you did that it should it should be working like if you move the, the head bone around in post mode, if you like rotate it, the face should move along with it. Me3, I think, asked, is there a way to control the speed at which the face facial rig moves from shape to shape, especially the eyes? I'm just gonna assume that you mean like a smooth transition from one eye shape to another, and yeah, there is a way. You just squeeze like... Um, for example, right now I want to make this a blinking animation, but I want it to be like smooth instead of very snappy. Um, before like the, the frame before the 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 eye changes the 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 image to like the closed eye, I I squeeze it a little bit by pressing S plus C trans to transform it along the Z axis, and then back like when it's closed, I press Alt plus S to reverse the transformation. And yeah, then you set the interpolation mode to like Bezier or like whatever you want, and you you edit the the ease ins and outs and interpolation mode to whatever you'd like to do. Like right now, I'm you could yeah, I'm just like making up simple eye blinking animation, and that's pretty much applicable for each bone. Like for example, the mouth, I wanted to have a smile, like from close mouth to smile and yeah it's basically the same principle para paprika para paprika para paprika asked maybe it's a dumb question but do you model the bodies for the me from scratch or on, on blender on the me website maker that i wanted that like that's down right now on the github page there are body models and I use them sometimes, for example, in my tamale animation. I used the body and then I ripped off the head of the me resource, I think was called. I'll link it in the description. Both of them, the GitHub and the website where I got the head. On my dochi, my 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 weaver video, I weaver, I modeled the body myself, but like I used the body the, the me the me body as a base and then I box modeled the clothing myself because those are like custom clothing assets and stuff yeah if you have any questions it's just like ask them like in the comments or on Twitter I'll answer them as soon as I can in if, if you want to dive deeper into my way of animating these you can download like the blender files for the tamale video and the dochi video on my on my ko-fi for like five dollar each it's yeah i mean it's just there like to support me if you want to and yeah yeah i'm not i'm not good at this i'm sorry i hope you got something out of this video uh um okay goodbye bye bye bye